at the Viper today. The Viper's got kind of a weird issue going on. And in fact, uh, it's a known issue with the Vipers. This is a 14 Viper, and it uh, makes an odd noise when starting up. So we're going to take a quick look at it real quick. And the guys from Totally Elma have helped me out on this. It uh, seems to be a, a bad design anyways. So the gears are acting kind of weird in the reverse uh, actuator. So the reverse actuator will go ahead and grind the gears just a little bit. And that actually allows it to not turn. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to fire it up real quick and you can, you can hear what I'm finding. That's gears grinding. Anyways, we're up to temp now, so I'm gonna shut her. I'm gonna shut her down, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll give it a shot. Show you how to take this uh, reverse actuator off, and of course, reclock the gear. We're good here. Shut her down. Oh, you can even hear it when I shut down the engine. They say that's what's causing it. Is when you turn the engine on and off, is it's supposed to grind those gears just a little bit, and that's a problem and a flaw. So we'll fire the get this squared off, and we'll, we'll get the part out, and we'll get it up on the bench and reclock it. He's gonna get. Uh, he's gonna get the. Reverse actuator off. In fact, okay, reverse actuator. Let's just see. She comes straight out. Yep, there we go. It's exactly what we wanted. Unplug it from the harness. All right, there's our reverse actuator. This cap used to just twist off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to the bench and we'll take it apart. We're gonna clock this thing. When I mean clock, we're gonna rotate it away from the stripped gears. That should get us working again. There was a recall on these other components here as well, but I think we're okay on this. This is the first time we've had an issue with this. This part is about 145 bucks if you have to replace it. So don't screw it up. But uh, we'll, get, we'll take it over the bench and so we'll catch it. What I've been told, and this particular cap should come right off. They're like some guys said, easier than a peanut butter jar. Well, we'll see really quick. All right. All right. And there's our reverse actuator. And as you can see inside of there, the gears really close over here on the one side are actually ground off. So we're going to mark that with a Sharpie, and that's where we're going to keep it because that we want to make sure we rotate those. And what I've been told is we want to rotate them down clockwise. 90 degrees is just enough to get those gears out of position because all the actuator uses are the top gears because it rotates clockwise and then counterclockwise. Clockwise to go to reverse, counterclockwise to go back to forward. So we need to move these gears over to here. We should have just this snap ring in the middle. Once you're done with that snap ring, then we should be able to go. Okay, so after putting the right ends in our snap ring pliers, now we're ready to try to pull that snap ring out of there. So we'll give it a quick shot here. Okay, snap ring's a pain in the ass. That's all there is to it. It's just a pain. <laughs> so now we've got our gear. Now we've got, I've got it marked three o'clock nine o'clock. I'm going to turn this thing 90 degrees clockwise. That should get me out of that. But what I'm going to do is when I take it off, I'm going to look at what's what's cranked on the gears and try so to uh, mark it as well. This out, we'll turn it on its side. Yeah, see how the gears are ground right off? I'm going to mark my three o'clock real quick, being that I got it in my fingers. Well, actually, I'm going to mark where they're ground off. because That's really what matters. Get my pen done. Okay, so I'm ground off from about, you know, they started grinding back here, but I'm going to mark it from right about there to right about here. Okay, so we don't want to use that section. The gears beyond there, a little grind, but they're clean on the other opposite side, obviously. So we're going to just not use this section here. So there we can see that section are ground off. So I'm going to rotate this. There we go. All right. So here's what we got. We took those gears and we moved them off. Moved them off to the bottom. So now when it rotates, it should be using fresh gears. And in actuality, it's going to come from the top over and back again. So we shouldn't be touching those gears. So we'll put this back together. We'll get it back on the machine and yeah, see I'm going what to be really careful when I put this thing back on because as you can see, it may have been Drunk Friday at the Articat factory. Obviously, this is an Articat part. They tightened it way too much and cracked the form. So that's not cool. But hey, they'll still hold. But 
that's kind of a bugger that they're cracked. Anyways, but it'll go on there just fine. We'll go put this back on, connect the wiring harness. So we're be back here at the Viper. We've got a reverse actuator. We just need to put that back on. So we just got that, and then we've got those three screws. Of course, the wiring harness. The wiring harness might be easier to put on when we've got it off the sled right now. So we'll go ahead and plug that in, and we'll lay it into place. Screw it We've got another issue going on right now, and it's not the reverse actuator. So I'll have to take a look so at it. Just to share with you guys again, I did actually mark this and reclock it. So in actuality, when I first had it, nine and three o'clock were marked here, and this part in blue, that particular part was uh, was my part that was ground off. Now sitting in forward, I'm sitting over here. So in actuality, this should come around, and I'm going to fire it up right now just to be sure. But when I pull it off the machine and rotate it, it will rotate a couple times. So it must have a stop mechanism in it when it's uh, on the machine. But when it's when, or when it's off, it just spins almost all, you know three quarters of the way or all the way around. So that's not an issue. But I'll fire it up really quick, like and run it. But we'll see where it's grinding. It may have ground off the other side, so I might be screwed because I can't replace just that nylon gear. Country Cat has the whole unit for like 106 bucks shipped. So I may be a set up that way. So as you've seen right now, it's not going all the way around. We might have something stuck inside the chain case as well, but it's going to be a matter of figuring it out but it doesn't even get and now unless i've got a ground gears over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably pop it off pull that out of there and just see what the story is um i may be out of out of good gear left here anymore so let's just hope worst case scenario i rotate this all the way to there or past if this is ground in here maybe i've got enough good on the top here to actually still allow it to go but we'll go from there so what i've done here i've actually taken apart one more time and so inside of there I've marked, and you can see all the blue spots. Those are all the spots that that thing is showing some grinding of the gears. So I rotated it now. My three o'clock position will actually be right on the edge of that, and hopefully it can do a full 180 and still have good gears. The opposite side over here is actually got some grinding up here, but it's not bad. It might still be enough. So all I can do is test that out. So we'll give that a shot. That's what I've got on the bench. Of course, what happens when you uh, take that off too many times? Yeah, break a snap ring. So now I gotta go get another one. So had to get on my caliper just to measure the thickness and size of this thing because I don't buy snap rings every day. So anyways, that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna, Sunday morning, I'm gonna wait for the hardware store to open up and I'm gonna get another snap ring. And then I'll throw this back on. But honestly, if I grind this thing all the way up, there's something goofed up inside the chain case. So. Okay, one more time. Finally got a new snap ring on there. And as you can see, my blue markings are from three o'clock to like 10 o'clock. So. This has got ground off stuff in here. This should all be good over here. All you can do is hope that it's enough to get it all the way engaged into reverse over here. So we'll see what happens. pretty but we have reverse and we got just a little bit of grind so what can you do you know it, it's starting to grind but it goes into reverse and it does lock but it still gives us a little grind so give it a shot and go from there